everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to do some styling in my kitchen and dining room so stay tuned kind of showed y'all how I was decorating the built-ins in our kitchen. I have not yet styled all of the built-ins in the dining room. I've been kind of like unpacking decor and kind of using these shelves as a spot to like put things that I want to decorate with but I haven't decorated with them yet so today I'm gonna add a few more things to the built-ins in the kitchen and then I'm also going to try and style these shelves while this house is larger than our last house I still kind of feel like I'm not gonna use like be using as much just like what I would call little knickknacks, just like little small decor that I use for built-ins and shelves and things like that. So I'm gonna clean out those built-ins in the dining room and style those. And if I have stuff that I'm not using right now, I'm gonna put it in the bottom of my china cabinet, like underneath in case I wanna use it later. I don't want to put it in the basement or down in the shop if I think I'm going to use it like pretty soon when I decorate for fall or something. I'll give you a couple things I picked up today and then I'm going to kind of add some stuff to these and style the built-ins in my dining room as well. This teapot recently at one of the antique stores downtown. I shared it in a shopping haul and said that I would love to have more of that, like the whole little set. Today I found the little cream and the little container that you put sugar cubes in in the same little print. So I'm going to display those up there with my teapot. I also found similar teacups. And these were only a dollar, so I got all of the ones that were in that booth at the antique store to display those little cups up there with that. And then at a different antique store, I found these little teacups and saucers, and they match some of the plates that I recently got at an antique store downtown. So I'm going to put some of those up there as well. A lot of my like navy stuff are from antique stores, but like this is from Dollar General. I shared that in a haul. This was my granny's. This was my granny's. I like to use stuff that was hers, but I also go get like other antiques. I also found these little navy dishes at Dollar General. They were all $2 a piece. And I love the like cement look around the bottom. So I'm going to mix those in as well. Here I use navy wallpaper. And then in here I'm also using some navies, some blues. This little cream set right here was my granny's. This was my granny's. So I really, I don't know if it's, I've always liked to use like my granny's stuff and older stuff, but I really feel like in this 1902 house, I feel like I can really like dig into that and let it out and really just go with the fact that we're keeping a lot of the old character and the old things about this house. We're keeping them and we're really just swapping up paint, adding wallpaper. I have a lot of my granny's stuff in the china cabinet. At the other house, I mostly had white pottery in here and I still have a lot of my pottery in here, but 
I've got like one of my granny's little crystal sets in here. This was hers. All of these like teapots, vases, everything down here was hers besides that piece of pottery in the back. So I like to use a lot of white in here since the inside of my cabinet is a dark wood. I feel like the white and the crystal shows up really well in here. So it's mostly like my granny stuff and then some white pottery in here. The built-ins over here since they're white. I am going to use some of my white pottery. And I meant to go by Dollar Tree and get more of the easels. I love their little easels. And they have some wider ones that work great for pottery. But I forgot to go by there. But I'm going to display some pottery over here and also use some of my new navy dishes. So just a little update there. Lily has kind of messed up my throw pillows in here, so ignore that. The first thing that I'm doing in today's video is styling these built-ins that are in our kitchen. I showed you some of the new pieces that I got and I'm just kind of going to rearrange some things and add some new dishes to this space. You also can't see in this video, but the built-ins kind of come out from the wall a little bit, if that makes sense. So I was able to put some faux plants and decorate like above the built-ins. I'll show you that in an upcoming video or especially in my new home tour when I get ready to share that with y'all. But I just wanted to use a bunch of navy, a bunch of antique stuff, some of my granny stuff. And then of course, I love to pull everything together with greenery. I have tons of real and faux plants all throughout my house. I'm super excited with how this space has come together and I'm really excited to share everything with you. So I'm just styling the kitchen built-ins and then I will move into the dining room. I mentioned in the beginning of today's video I'm planning on displaying some navy dishes some pottery 
some faux plants, things like that in these built-ins. This has kind of just been a spot to hold decor that I plan on using, but that I just haven't found a spot yet. So I'm going to go through everything on the shelves in the dining room, and I'm going to put some things in the living room built-ins. I'm going to store what I don't want to use right now beneath my china cabinet so that I can go grab it later or if I need to add decor to like a bedroom or something when I get our guest room styled I can go there and easily grab it but I'm just going through everything and taking everything off these shelves and cleaning them and then I will start to kind of put what I want to use on these shelves but like I said earlier I forgot to go by and get some more easels and since I have so many built-ins in this house all of the easels that I was using to display dishes and pottery in the other house are already in use like in the kitchen and living room built-ins so I need to go get more easels and I will share the finished product later but for now I wanted to sort through this decor, get these shelves cleaned and dusted, and then kind of place the pottery that I want to use on each shelf, and I'll go back later and add the easels and style it properly. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button below and also the little bell next to it so that you will not miss any of my future uploads every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon. I have shared a ton of videos from our new house already and I will continue to do so of course. I do share mostly home related content on my channel but I do like to mix in some cleaning motivation and some shopping hauls. But since we are still getting like unpacked and settled into our new house, I have been sharing a ton of decorating and styling and DIYing videos and will continue to do so until we do get settled. And by the time we get settled, it will be time for me to start decorating for fall. And then literally as soon as I put my fall decor away, I start getting ready for Christmas. So if you love home decorating, home related content and holiday decor, now would be the perfect time to hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you are new to these videos, you can go to the description box below today's video and I have all of the videos that I have shared from our new house so far linked in the description box below so that you can just click over and watch those after you finish this one. I also have a lot of shopping hauls and videos from our old house linked under there as well. Or as always, you can click over to my main Live Love Logan profile where I upload videos three times a week every week and you can go back and watch every single video that I have ever uploaded to my channel and see all the DIYs and decorating that I did in our old house too. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you all have a great week and had a great holiday weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.